another day, another two things. I won't lie, I barely put on pants for this. I'm actually just panted enough that this video won't get flagged. Oh, this? Uh, oh, this is just a shirt from my district line store. Um, I don't know if you're into nachos and secret organizations, but we got, uh, got that going on. Last week we looked at hot dogs and hamburgers and decided that hot dogs were the worst. This week we're going to look at what's worse, being rich and never having true love, or finding your true love and being poor. It's this versus that. I don't know if we're going to call it that or not. The thing where we take two things and decide which thing is the worst thing. Thing the thing thing thing. I have no idea how we're going to determine which one is worse, but here we go. A lot of people will tell you money can't buy you happiness, but what it can buy you are things that make you happy. What can you buy with true love? Maybe some favors? Favors are great until you have to pay them back. Everybody's always calling in their favors. I've never seen anybody pay back a butler favor. Butler favors? Come on. That's all butlers do is, is give you favors. You see, the thing is, I could come up with so many more reasons why being rich is better than having love. You can't really put a dollar sign on somebody seeing you take a shit. But if they love you, maybe they'll put up with it. When you're rich, you have the privilege of making it rain on somebody. But when you're in love, making it rain is a completely different thing between two consenting adults. Personally, I prefer the gold rush. That's where you eat about $30 in loonies, a couple of x lax and then you hover over somebody until you strike gold. When was, when was the last time anybody was able to use love as a bribe outside of a prison cell? No amount of money is going to pay a prostitute to take you to the hospital if they think your butthole's been broken. But maybe love will. So I asked you guys what you thought was worse, and here's what you had to say. I don't think this guy got it. Rich without love, because money is love. TBH. The big hunk. What? Being rich forever. Hookers. Nuff said. I don't... They were supposed to be doing the, the worst one. You've got me confused now. Being poor and, and loved. Because at least when you're rich, you could buy Hot Pockets and cats. Th that makes sense. Who needs true love when you can just buy a mansion and fill it full of all the stuff you like? I'm with you. Having your true love is worse. Ew. Everyone knows that there's no such thing as true love. You the man, Edwin. You could be independent and buy all the cool stuff for yourself. No one to waste your cash on. I'd rather be rich so I could spend all of my time and money wiping out the horrid durian. You. You, my friend. You know. So I think from those comments we can decipher that having love is the worst option. And also, there's no hope for humanity. So if you have two things you want me to ruin for you, leave them in the comments below it. And if you see something you like, give it a thumbs up so I can see it going to the top. I'm more likely to do the ones that have the more thumbs up. You can also get your things to me by sending them to me on Facebook and Twitter. All the links will be in the description below. Next week on This Verse That, we're going to see which is worse. Blood on the dance floor or a crazy purple mist that melts your bones. And you're going to be surprised how good it feels to have liquid bones. Hey, I forgot to give a shout out to Gamer Shame, so go go check out the new Gamer Shame that's out today. We we we, we play Mount Your Friends, and we're friends. So <laughs> YouTube.com/slash GOS Game Show. Go.